Max Stahl, who went from presenting the BBC children's show Blue Peter to bringing global attention to the East Timor conflict as a war correspondent, died in Brisbane, Australia, yesterday after a lengthy battle with cancer. Known as Christopher Wenner during his tenure on Blue Peter from 1978 to 80, his career began in theatre as an actor and director. After his exit from Blue Peter, he took part in the 1984 Doctor Who adventure, The Awakening, however, his role was reduced to non-speaking in the final cut. He would go on to return to Blue Peter in 1983 and again in 1998 to celebrate the show's birthdays. Stahl, full name Max Christopher Wenner, later took on his mother's maiden name and stepped behind the camera, winning awards for his coverage of conflict around the world, previously reporting from Chechnya and Beirut in the 1980s and 1990s. He's perhaps best known, however, for filming the atrocities in East Timor in 1991, when 271 protesters against Indonesian rule were massacred in Dili's Santa Cruz Cemetery. His work is credited with bringing the plight of the Timor-Leste population to the world which, in turn, brought a turning point in the fight for independence. Former East Timor president and Nobel laureate Jose Ramos Horta called him a treasured son, writing on Facebook shortly before his death, we honor him as one of the true heroes of our struggle. Ramos Horta added, there are only a few key points in the history of Timor-Leste where the course of our nation turned toward freedom. This was one of those points. It was the first time our message broke through to the world. Human rights networks went into action. Senators, congressmen and parliamentarians came to our side, and this happened when one man was willing to risk his life to document up close what was happening and smuggled the message out of our country. Indonesia had ruled the former Portuguese colony since invading in 1975, and Stahl had traveled there in 1991, later hearing about a planned protest march to a cemetery after a memorial service for an independence support. Speaking about being paramount to capturing the struggles, Stahl told the BBC in 20, I was just getting my camera ready when there was a wall of sound, at least 10 seconds of uninterrupted gunfire. The soldiers who arrived five point blank into a crowd of a couple of thousand young people. He added, I could easily see that it was only a matter of time before they came to me, and at that point I thought, well, I should move away from here. Stahl buried the film in the graveyard and later smuggled it out of the then Indonesian occupied country before it was broadcast around the world. Following the news of his passing, social media has been flooded with tributes. One upset fan typed on Twitter, I have fond memories of his brief stint on Blue Peter, bridging the gap between John Noakes and Peter Duncan. I knew he'd been in Doctor Who too, but I had absolutely no idea that he went on to do such remarkable things thereafter. What a career. Another added, sad to hear of the passing of legendary journalist and filmmaker Max Stahl who brought Timor-Leste's independence struggle to the world and filmed the 1991 Santa Cruz massacre of protesters by Indonesian forces. A looter continuer. A third joined in, Rip Max Stahl. A hero of mine, a hero to many. A looter continuer XX. Jonathan Head, BBC News Southeast Asia correspondent, knew Stahl well and described him as gentle, courteous, passionately principled and completely committed to supporting the people of East Timor. The archive project he ran documenting the country's traumatic history was a valuable contribution to helping people remember, and come to terms with it, he said. Chris video footage was the first ever video evidence of Indonesian atrocities. It was first broadcast on Channel 4 News and then turned into a documentary for Yorkshire TV. Coming at a time when human rights were getting more attention in the post-Cold War, unipolar world, it put huge pressure on Indonesia to loosen its grip and greatly encouraged campaigners for East Timor's right to self-determination.